confirmed with Yes, we came, that. we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> Did it have anything to do with your visit? Today we can definitively say that the Gaddafi regime has come to an end. Uh, the world is a better place with Gaddafi gone. Gaddafi succeeded to rule Libya for over 42 years because he managed to gain support of many Libyan tribes by providing them with free water, almost free gasoline, free health system, as well as cheap and affordable education. 1. In Libya, there was no payment for electricity during Gaddafi's reign. Electricity was free for all citizens. Fuel, education, and health care were almost free or close to nothing for most Libyans to afford. 2. With an excellent management of oil revenues, the Libyan state had managed to store hundreds of tons of about 143 tons of gold, according to Wikileaks, and the same amount of silver. All these resources were going to make Libya the most influential country in Africa, supplanting France, for instance. 3. There were no interest on loans in Libyan banks and state-owned financial enterprises. Loans were given at 0% interest rate by law. 4. Living in a house was a must-have issue for all Libyans. Gaddafi even vowed that his parents would not get a house until everyone in Libya had one. In fact, having a house in Libya was considered a human right. 5. All newly wedded couples in Libya received money from the government to build their new apartments. 6. Necessities were given out freely or at very affordable prices to Libyans to better their lives amongst others. All these were seen as provocative and dictatorial to those who were not in support of Gaddafi's projects, which at the end culminated to some fighting and subsequent killing of the revolutionary leader of Libya. All these other reasons why Gaddafi was killed are gotten from the Muslim Times main source. Gaddafi even carried out the world's largest irrigation project in Libya, the Great Man River. This project utilized giant pipes to send fresh water from the Nubian sandstone aquifer system fossil aquifer across Libya, and was fully funded by the Libyan government. No loans from the IMF or China. Unfortunately, NATO forces intentionally and under strict orders destroyed this irrigation system, and even went further to destroy the factory where the pipes for this project were manufactured. This was a project that was aimed at helping Libyans, so why destroy it if your goal is to free the same Libyans? That is how you saw it on this video titled, The Real Reason Why Gaddafi Was Killed. Kind of unconfirmed. Yes, we came, we saw.